ിലോമീറ്റേ <laughs> day 6 we are going to start our day with a breakfast again like achu at the kada which we tried on the first day we are going to try some street food from this cart the cart is run by shanu etan he is a friend of my best friend anil anil is in wagaman so i am not meeting him in this trip shanu etan is a very friendly person he has got breakfast and also lunch he makes the best fish fry in fort kochin but right now let's see what he has got to offer for our breakfast this is how traditionally the food is displayed this is ulli vada this is palam puri there is patri and of course i think a french toast probably and bread bread fry you have paratha you have idlis you have puttu kolkata and of course egg the curries are inside so he has got a mutton curry and beef curry with puttu papad is a great combination so plenty of papad out there We have tried various things for breakfast. We have tried the parm puri, beef. We have tried paratha. We have tried various kinds of thing, including puttu, appam. But uh, we are in Kerala, and how can we forget a simple idli? We have not tried the idli on the street side or in any of the restaurants. So <coughs> this is a simple fare. I have taken two idlis and a chutney. There is no sambar here, but you can offer a beef curry or a mutton curry, and there are various other things. So I have two idlis, chutney, and this ulli vada just see this crispy vada we are going to have this i love ulli vada because the crunchiness of that onion and the vada is amazing just see the inside of the vada it is completely different plenty of onions out there and the, i think there is little bit of ginger that's what i like about this vada let's dip the vada in this chutney little watery coconut chutney and then take a bite Mm. Chutney is little watery but it's full of flavors. Perfect chutney. Now let's try the idli. Very spongy idli. Fresh. Let me take a generous amount of chutney. This is a large bite. Mm. Mm. The food is super fresh and super tasty. This is the breakfast from Shanu at the Gada. This is right near the Tower Restaurant, and this is the Harbour Hotel. And right in front of me, about 50 meters from here, is the sea. Perfect spot. I can smell the sea, and I can smell the food from this kada. Kada means a shop in Malayalam. Instead of breaking the idli and dipping it in chutney, I'm just going to pour the chutney on top of this. Just see how beautiful is that. So let me just crush this idli. mix it with the chutney 
Mm. Man, this is good. I like this kind of breakfast. It's very light on the stomach and super tasty. Mm. He has also given a seasoning of mustard seeds in this and curry leaves, which makes this chutney extraordinary. Mm. Now a piece of vada. Again, scoop up the chutney. Mm. This combo is really good. Any fried thing is very tasty. Particularly vada and paripoda. Mm. This is kolkata. This is made of rice. Let's see what is inside. This is jaggery, coconut and little bit of ilaichi. This is a traditional sweet. You can see how fluffy it is. And the outer cover is made of rice. It's steamed and it's not fried and it's quite healthy. I love this. Mm. There is no other sweet which is better than this. This is the traditional Kerala sweet. We have had the breakfast, a sweet and now we are going to have a milk tea. Thank you. A small glass of tea. This is the way locals drink. You can see plenty of locals including the fishermen and locals coming here. You also get Bollywood and Malayalam film stars coming here. You were saying John Abraham and Nasruddin Shah and Fahad Fasal, of course. All of them come here and say hi to him. The food is super tasty. I wish I could have lunch here. We'll be shooting somewhere else. Now the tea. Wow. This is kind of the tea which we tasted at uh, Upport in the Kada. It's perfectly brewed, strong. There is milk and there's a little bit of sugar. This is perfect tea. perfect end to this breakfast. I'll finish this tea and then move on to the next destination. This is a legendary restaurant called Kai's. That's where I'm sitting now. Almost a 70 year old restaurant. I know about this restaurant because I've come and eaten here. The biryani is amazing. The Kochi style biryani you get here. When the biryani comes, I'll tell you more about the biryani. But otherwise, this is famous because the legendary painter Emma Hussein once came here, ate the biryani. He was so happy and then he made couple of drawings or one drawing and gave it to them. Mutton roast for the mutton biryani. So we have ordered a mutton biryani and a mutton roast. So you can see this portion of biryani here. Just see the biryani, it smells amazing. You can see the fried onions on top. You can see the green chilies and I'm sure there are some dry fruits in this. So let's take a portion. I'm not going to finish the whole thing because we are going to eat throughout the day. So let me take a little bit of biryani. Wow. See the quality of rice. This is a long grain rice. You can see the masala and this is a mutton biryani. Just see the piece of mutton. It's a huge piece of mutton. 
and little bit of that fried onion birista this is mutton biryani from kais so you also have papad couple of papads and uh, what you get with this is it's a date chutney it is slightly sweet and this is a pickle achar and little bit of salad and here comes our mutton roast just see our mutton roast it's piping hot small chunks of mutton sauteed in onions and that masala this is oh this is really good smelling of curry leaves the green chili and all the kerala spices a small portion about 3 4 pieces and you can see the thick rich masala caramelized onions and masala curry leaves and the green chili can you see the curry leaves out there it's loaded with curry leaves and i can get the smell of this beautiful masala here let me take little bit of the pickle i'm going to take whole lot of pickle and uh, of course that the date chutney which is sweet i'm tempted to taste the chutney so let me just taste the chutney there is of course dates in it but it's spicy and i don't know whether there is jaggery good in it kind of uh, interesting flavor you don't get this with any other biryani in india this is very unique a legendary place and famous for kochi biryani and little bit of that salad here look at this plate the mutton biryani you can see this huge chunk of mutton mutton roast the pickle the date pickle which we just tasted and of course little bit of the onions a salad let's taste the rice first you can see long grain rice which is very fragrant mm perfect again we tried one or two biryanis earlier in the last few days but this biryani is truly outstanding long grain rice but still separate and let's try the meat now you can see the mutton how soft it is piping hot oh it's very hot see how perfectly it is cooked i can just take it like this mix it with this rice and taste the mutton biryani the mutton is melt in the mouth and this rice has absorbed all the flavor of mutton this is a perfect combo now let's try little bit of pickle onions and take this bite hmm there is only one word to describe this biryani in malayalam adipoli amazing stuff let's take some more mutton or let me just bite off the mutton from this piece hmm perfectly cooked the spices are perfect and literally it is melt in the mouth this biryani is amazing and i have not tasted a mutton biryani like this anywhere else not even in lucknow and hyderabad let me just mix all this birista the pickle the onions make a bite hmm i'm going to take little more rice i'm going to keep the papad on top of this biryani rice crush it you can hear the crumbling sound of the papad mix it take some more pickle take a bite mm. let me take the date pickle mix it with this papad and biryani rice and taste this mm that slight sweetness of dates enhances the taste and gives it another dimension to this biryani you have to use all these ingredients the date pickle the lemon pickle as well as this onion the salad and the papad this is the combination you can eat this whole biryani using all these ingredients but our mutton roast is sitting quietly in one corner now we'll taste the mutton i think they are boneless pieces just so soft there is a fair amount of spice in there so let's taste this 
Mm. Man. Not very spicy. It is all the green chili, the red chili powder, the Kerala spices and the curry leaves. Let me put some onion on top of this. Generous amount of onion. Mix it with that mutton and let's taste. Mm. This place is quite interesting because there are only few dishes. So you order a biryani, you get this papad and pickles and salad. You can order a side dish and that will be your meal. So half of the biryani is still left. I'll take some time to finish it. I really enjoy it, 10 or 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Stalin is going to order a chicken biryani and we'll try that. So we have finished our biryani. Our total bill for two biryanis and a mutton roast was just about 520 rupees. This place opens at 11 o'clock and it closes at 3.30. One important thing I forgot to tell you is that they add small pieces of pineapple in the biryani. So it has got that pineapple flavor, that tartness and the sweetness which goes into the biryani. I don't think any other biryani in India uses pineapple. This is a very unique biryani and if you come to Cochin, don't miss it. Kai's biryani. completely white it's huge we are not going to go inside because uh, we are searching for food but uh, that doesn't stop us from enjoying this beautiful sights of Matanjeri. so right opposite the Gujarati Mandir is this Sajeev small shop he's an artist he does fantastic watercolor of the local sites Sajeev has been painting for years uh, you can see his watercolors there is uh, YKM Mohammed Bashir and there is uh, Nambudri, the famous artist. You can see this is Nambudri. I think he passed away recently. So you can see this watercolor of uh, Sajeev. This is quite big. After framing, it can become a good painting which you can display on the wall. See the quality of the work. You can see the details. People standing here the dog, people inside this small place, another couple of people, the birds in the sky, the water. This is quite affordable. This is five or six thousand rupees and Sajeev will be happy to part with it. You can take it home, frame it and hang it. This will be your memory of Kochi. You can see this small place, really quaint place and uh, this is Umesh tea shop. You get tea, bonda, dosa. Dosa is just 10 rupees. Would you believe that? You get masala dosa for 40 rupees and a ghee roast for 35 rupees. We are in Chenoy's ice cream corner. Plenty of Konkani shops here. So an advantage is that I can talk in Konkani or in Malayalam or English or Gujarati or Hindi. This place is a true global village. I told you that on day one. All kinds of people reside in this area and all of them live in harmony. That is the beauty of Kochi. We have ordered a fruit salad with custard and a plain custard. So for this humid weather, you got to cool down the body. This is Chennai Mom and uh, this is our plain custard and this is our fruit custard. Just see the fruit custard. You can see the fruits and sugar syrup right out here. This is a plain custard which I have ordered. These are not big brands but homemade brands and they are really pocket friendly and super tasty. Let me take a bite man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it goes. It's already melting. Just see this custard. Before it melts, let me take a bite. I can feel that coldness, the cold custard sliding into my throat and it's such a relief from this heat wonderful custard perfect for this humid weather slightly crystallized sweet but it's perfect moment you keep it on your tongue it just melts and goes down let me take one more bite 
and after this bite i am not going to talk much i'll quietly sit and enjoy this custard perfect for this weather so today has been a quite a eventful day we have tried many things we are going to continue exploring because uh, the weather is slightly cool now not very hot so let's take a walk and see what's going to be in our plate it's almost evening around 5 5:30 and we are still in matanjari we are roaming around talking to people we have come to sri krishna cafe a very famous place if you google search it you will instantly get the location but however i'll give it in the description below all the places we have eaten from or visited i'll give the numbers and the google location so that you can easily visit the places for this heat what i need is a dahi vada the dahi vada is here a single piece of dahi vada you can see the size of the dahi vada here let's scoop a little bit of the dahi on top of this take a piece of this dahi vada so let's taste this dahi vada mm that slight tartness of the dahi the vada is quite good it has kind of soak all the goodness of the dahi little bit of spiciness but this one is salty i have opted for a salty dahi vada not the sweet one because we have already had a lassi and custard little while ago mm. whether you are in north india or any part of india dahi vada is there in many forms in south the hiwada is slightly different but the taste is almost similar just rehydrate the pieces hmm day 6 in fort kochi was quite eventful but not exactly fort kochi we started from fort kochi from sanu shop and then we came to matancheri a short uh, ride on auto rickshaw we tasted the beautiful biryani from kais and of course the mutton roast and we tasted many dishes we walked through the palace road enjoyed and soaked the atmosphere of matancheri if you have enjoyed it if you have liked the video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel chomping champion tell me in the comments below what else would you like to see in cochin Till the next video bye take care and stay fit thanks for watching the video